Hello, hi students. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve previous year M set questions from current electricity concept. Okay. The first question is: In a potentiometer experiment, the balancing length with a cell is 560 centimeters. When an external resistance of 10 ohm is connected in parallel to the cell, the balancing length changes by 60 centimeters. Find the internal resistance of the cell. Okay. Now, what did he give? He gave that. The, bal the balancing length L1 is L1 is 560 centimeters. Okay. Then when an external resistance of 10 ohm is connected, okay, that is capital R is equal to 10 ohm is connected parallel to the cell, then the balancing length changes by 60 centimeters. That is your new balancing length L2 will be 560 minus 60. That is 500 centimeters okay that is so now what you have to calculate you have to calculate the internal resistance that is small r is equal to how much now if you see this circuit if you see this circuit okay this this section we will call this secondary circuit now what did he do initially he initially what did he give he gave that the balancing length is 560 centimeters that is this length is 560 centimeters when this resistor is not there that is this key is open okay when when we close this key that is when this resistor is in the secondary circuit what happened the balancing length changed by 60 centimeters that is from 560 it has reduced to 500 centimeters which will be our new balancing length l2 now what you have to do you have to calculate the internal resistance and the value of this external and the value of this external resistance that is connected in the secondary circuit is 10 ohm okay now now how to calculate the internal resistance we know that in the case of potentiometer the formula for internal resistance is small r is equal to capital r into l1 minus l2 by l2 okay where l1 is the balancing length without external resistor L2 is the balancing length with external resistor in the secondary circuit. Okay. Now, if you substitute this, capital R is 10 into L1 will be 560 minus 500 by L2 will be 500. That is equal to 10 into 60 by 500. Okay. This, this will get cancelled. This this will get cancelled. That we, that is six. That is one point two ohm. Okay. So this is first sum. Now let us go to our next sum. What is our next sum? Next sum is a resistor of resistance R is connected between the terminals of a cell of EMF E, and its internal resistance is R. If I is the current through the circuit, the terminal potential difference of the cell is given by. Okay. Now. What did he give? He he said us to he told us to take a cell. Generally, this is the symbol for uh, cell. The, this is positive. This is negative. Okay, this is positive. This is negative. Now, the EMF of this cell is E, capital E, and its internal resistance is smaller. Internal resistance is smaller. Now, what did we do? When we connect uh, this cell in a circuit. The, uh, in a circuit which consists of a resistor capital R okay which consists of a resistor capital R then what will happen current will flow let I be let I be the current flowing through the circuit then what is what is he asking he is asking us to calculate the uh, he is asking us to say the formula for terminal potential okay here you have to be clear with one concept that is there is a lot of difference between EMF of the cell and terminal potential difference. The EMF of the cell is given by E, whereas the terminal potential difference is denoted by V. Okay, the relation between these two is V, that is terminal potential V is equal to EMF E minus I small r. Okay, where I is the current flowing in the circuit and small r is the internal resistance of the cell. Okay, and this formula will be valid only when the cell is discharging. Okay, now here uh, it is the case of discharging. So the formula for uh, terminal potential difference will be V is equal to E minus IR. Now let us go to our uh, next question. 
what is our next question next question is in a balanced meter bridge the segment of wire opposite to the known resistance of 70 ohm is 70 centimeters the unknown resistance is okay now what you have to do here you have to calculate the unknown resistance so this is a uh, meter bridge where generally here we will take we will take the known resistance which is 70 ohm and the what you call uh, the balancing length or the segment opposite to the known resistance is 70 centimeters that is this distance will be 70 centimeters okay and here you will take unknown distance that is capillar is my unknown distance and you have to calculate the unknown resistance generally the length of this wire that is this length will be 100 centimeters now if this entire thing is 100 centimeters and if this part is 70 centimeters then this part will be 30 centimeters okay now here we can uh, apply the concept of uh, Wheatstone bridge what is the balancing condition for Wheatstone bridge the balancing condition for Wheatstone bridge is P by Q is equal to R by S okay where this will be my P the resistance corresponding to this length will be my Q this resistance will be my R and the resistance corresponding to this uh, 70 centimeters uh, length will be my S okay now if i uh, uh, use this condition this balancing condition what will i get that p that is the unknown distance r by q now, which is nothing but the resistance of this uh, length that is 30 centimeters is equal to 70 by 70 centimeters okay then what will i get capillar will be equal to 70 by 70 into 30 that is 30 ohm so the unknown the value of this unknown distance will be 30 ohm. okay now let us go to our uh, next uh, question our next question is resistance of a tungsten wire at 150 degrees is 133 ohm its temperature coefficient of resistance is 0.0045 per degree celsius the resistance of this wire at 500 degrees is okay now what did he give he gave that the resistance of wire at uh, 150 degrees that is R 150 is 133 ohm okay then still what did he give he gave that its temperature coefficient of alpha is temperature coefficient of resistance alpha is 0 0.0045 per degree celsius the resistance of the wire at 500 degrees now what is he asking he is asking us to calculate the resistance of wire at 500 degrees is how much okay we know that the resistance varies with temperature and the formula that connects uh, resistance and temperature is rt which is nothing but the resistance at uh, t degrees is equal to r naught which is nothing but the resistance at uh, 0 degrees into 1 plus alpha t okay where t is the temperature at which we are finding the resistance that is this temperature so this is the formula that connects uh, resistance and temperature okay that is rt is equal to r naught into 1 plus alpha t let us use the same here so first let us take the case of uh, 150 degrees that is r 150 is equal to r naught into 1 plus alpha into 150 now if, if i substitute this what will i get r50 r150 is 133 is equal to r naught into 1 plus uh, for timing let me take it as alpha alpha into 150 okay similarly if i use this formula for r500 then what will i get i'll get r500 is equal to r naught into 1 plus 500 into alpha okay let me take this as equation 2 let me take this as equation 1 now if i uh, divide 1 by 2 what will I get that is 1 is 133 by R500 is equal to R0 into 1 plus 150 alpha by <coughs> R0 into 1 plus 500 alpha okay 1 plus 500 alpha now this R0 R0 get cancelled that implies what will I get 133 by 
R500 is equal to 1 plus 150 alpha by 1 plus 500 alpha. Okay. If I inverse this, what will I get? R500 by 133 is equal to 1 plus 1, sorry, 1 plus, or uh, let me use like this, 1 plus, if I strike this, 500 alpha by 1 plus 150 alpha. So, that, then what will I get? That implies R, R500 will be R500 is equal to 1 plus 500 alpha by 1 plus 150 alpha into 133. Okay. Now, if I substitute the value of alpha in this, that is all, the value of alpha is 0.0045 per degree Celsius. And if I solve, then I will get the value of uh, alpha as 258 ohm. Okay. So that is our uh, next, uh, this is the, the answer for uh, resistance at 500 degrees. That is 258 ohm, which is nothing but C. Now let us go to our next question. Our next question is, the VI graph for a conductor at a temperature T1 and T2 are as shown in the figure. So this is uh, the diagram which shows the VI graph of a, of a conductor at two temperatures T1 and T2 T2 minus T1 is proportional to means you have to calculate uh, we have to say that uh, T2 minus T1 is proportional to what uh, quantity okay so now now what did he give okay as we discussed he gave that uh, this is VI graph and VI graph of a conductor and this graph shows the variation of a voltage with current at two different temperatures Okay, we already discussed that resistance depends upon temperature and for a conductor, the value of resistance is directly proportional to temperature. Okay, next, this is VI graph. From Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to IR or this can be written as V is equal to R into I. Now, if I compare this with Y is equal to MX, where y is nothing but voltage that is my y axis i is nothing but current that is my x axis then this slope will represent the resistance that is the conclusion from this is the slope of vi graph will give me the resistance and we know that the formula for slope is m is equal to tan theta okay now we will apply this concept resistance is directly proportional to temperature and r we can write like this that is r is equal to kt and the value of this resistance is nothing but the slope. Now let us take the, this factor that is a T, T1 factor. Okay. At temperature T1, what, what will I get? Resistance R1 is equal to KT1 and resistance R1 can be written as tan theta. So then what will I get? Tan theta is equal to KT1. Okay. Now let us uh, go to this graph. Let us go to this graph. Okay, that is the T2 temperature. In the case of uh, resistance at T2, what can I write? The new resistance R2 is equal to KT2. R2 is nothing but the slope of this uh, uh, line. Okay, now he gave this as theta degrees. Then what will be this angle? This angle will be 90 minus theta. Okay, then the formula, the value of uh, slope will be tan of 90 minus theta will be equal to k t2 that is tan 90 minus theta is cot theta okay cot theta will be equal to k t2 now what did he ask what did he ask he asked us to calculate the difference of t2 and t1 is proportional to means i have to calculate t2 i have to calculate t2 minus t1 that is equal to t2 minus t1 t2 t2 minus t1 okay so now what i'll do I will take this as uh, equation 1, this as equation 2. Okay. Now, I will subtract 1 from 2, that is 1 minus 2 will give me kt2 minus kt1 is equal to cot theta minus tan theta. Okay. Cot theta minus tan theta. Then, I will write here. Then, what, what can I write? So, uh, cot theta, first let me solve this uh, cot theta minus tan. Cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta minus tan theta can be written as 
sin theta by cos theta. Okay. If I solve this, what will I get? Sin theta cos theta cos theta into cos theta that is cos square theta minus sin square theta. Okay. Now what I'll do? I'll multiply by 2 and divide it by 2. Uh, we know that cos square theta minus sin square theta will be cos 2 theta. Then numerator will become 2 cos 2 theta. Similarly, 2 sin theta cos theta will be equal to 2 sin theta cos theta will be equal to sin 2 theta. Okay, that is equal to uh, cos 2 theta by sin 2 theta will be equal to cot 2 theta. Okay, that means what, what did I get? I got that k t2 minus k t1 is equal to okay, if I write here 2 2 cot 2 theta. Okay, now t2 minus t1 can be written as 2 by k into cot 2 theta. That means t2 minus t1 is proportional to cot 2 theta. That is cot 2, 2 theta, which is option C in this question. Okay. If you feel that this video is useful, kindly share to your friends. If you have any doubts or suggestions, you can comment me in the comment section. Do like and subscribe because your single like and comment will encourage me for making better videos. Thank you.